The issue of energy storage is one of the most important issues of modern times. We came here to Nanotech, a small company based in the outskirts of Southampton, to have a look at the unique process they have developed to construct nanoporous materials, notably metals, to improve the existing powerful energy storage devices, so-called supercapacitors. We start by taking some surfactant material, which is essentially the technical name for soap. And we take this material and we add it to some water. We control the concentration of the soap in the water solution and we add a metal reagent to that solution. By a process of changing the different reaction conditions, we can create a metal powder. This Which is, metal do you use, sorry? This metal is based on a nickel hydroxide. Um, the nickel hydroxide is then used to create a paste that we put onto an electrode, and it is this electrode that then goes on to form part of our supercapacitor, which has been enabled by our nanoporous nickel hydroxide. So I'm going to show you now how to create our liquid crystal phase. So we have some molten surfactant, and to that we're going to add some of our nickel chloride metallic one, yeah? solution. Okay. Yes. So what do I do? You just pour that into the surfactant, okay. and then we mix them together, and you'll see that as you're mixing they become stiffer. And what you're actually doing is creating hexagonal rods of the surfactant mixture surrounded by the nickel starting material. It is stiffening already, yeah, yeah amazing. So we're going to start the second part of the process now, which is collecting the nanoporous material. You can see in the beaker now, we're extruding that surfactant solution into some hot water. So the next stage, we will stir this mixture up and the hot water helps the surfactant to dissolve. So we get a mixture like this. The green material is our nanoporous metallic nickel hydroxide. And once we have collected this material, you can see that it will start to sediment out from the warm mm -hmm. water and soap mixture. And so this is our nanoporous metallic product. Right, so this is nanoporous metal. It is, yes. We've now reached the final stage of our process, which is to collect and dry our material. If you just go to that button there, you can switch the process on. Okay. So using this machine and a pump, we pass the slurry of our nanoporous material up to the top whereby using some compressed air and high temperatures we will create droplets of the material get dried very very quickly and will get collected in this pot at the end. Then we have our nanoporous product which goes into our supercapacitor electrode. So this is the final product? That's the final product. Brilliant.